Hello everyone, it's really good to see you here. So today we are going to solve a lead code problem which is best time to buy and sell stocks. So here we have given a price in price I. So basically price I, prices is uh, an array representing the price of the stock at ith day. So what we do, we have to maximize the profit. And what we have to do is we have to <coughs> buy a stock and then we have to sell it. So we have to buy it at minimum price and sell it at maximum price. You cannot actually uh, buy, uh, sell first and then buy. So the order should be preserved. So we have to firstly buy and then only we can sell that stock. So what we can do here is Let's suppose we select the first element and if we select the this element, so here uh, we buy some stock at the price 7 and we are selling it at price 1. So that is a loss, right? So here we have to maximize the profit. So what we can do is here you can see that uh, firstly we uh, take two pointers. First one is I which is uh, to iterate throughout the array and then min is representing the min value of the stock for that particular ith value. So let's see it. Uh, so here, firstly, the min value is 7 and I uh, the element at ith index is also 7. So the maximum profit is 0 because we want to maximize uh, L of i minus min, which is value at ith, ith index minus the minimum value till that ith index. So here it is 0. Now what we can see, that uh, once we reach at this element 1, then our minimum value got updated to 1 and our current uh, ith index is 1. Here also max profit is 0. Then we again go forward for 5. But here L of i is 5, but our minimum is 1 only. So the ma uh, maximum profit is 4 in this case. Now we came here at, at 3. So here the min value is again 1, but the ith index value is 3 and the profit remains 4 only because we are maximizing it. And again, if we move forward to this element 6, then our ith index value is 6 now. Our minimum value is 1. So our maximum profit should be 5. So our maximum profit value got updated by 5. Then again, what we do? We move forward. So here 4 is there. Minimum value is 1 only. And then uh, value at index i is 4. So what we do? We just uh, got 5 as our maximum profit. So at the end, this max profit remain, uh, retains whatever the maximum value we got till our whole traversal of this particular array. So this is the approach to solve this problem. Now let's try to uh, write the code. So here you can see that our answer is initially 0 because once we cannot find any profit then we have to return 0. So like you can see in this example, in this case no transaction are done and the maximum profit is 0 because the error is uh, sorted in decreasing order and in this case we cannot able to make any profit. So if we buy any stock uh, at any uh, point of time then we are always going to uh, having loss. So that's why we are not getting any profit in this case. So we have to return zero profit. So here, what we do? Firstly, we take an min element, which is uh, initialized using int max. And then n is the uh, price, this given vector size. So we uh, traverse throughout this element, uh, this price uh, array. And then what we got? Min element is equal to minimum of min element and price i and answer is maximum of answer comma price i minus min element and at the end we have to return the answer. So let's try to submit this. So this is the approach to solve the problem. Best time to buy and sell stock. And if you want to assist the code, then you can check the GitHub link given in the description. And this is it for this video. Thanks for watching.